On September 27, 2021, I published a Sonic Gravity episode called Critical Thinking Supremacy, Sonic Gravity Black Hole Genesis and Intellectual Authoritarianism. And that was the first time I went on record and said that a black hole isn't a big ball of dirty mass. A black hole is a wormhole to another universe. And the black hole in the middle is actually empty. It's surrounded by quantum gravity, which is tension in the Higgs string. And that happens when the conservation of angular momentum of a collapsing star forces the star at some radius to spin faster than the speed of light. And Einstein told us that anything that moves faster than the speed of light must go back in time, and that is a fact. So the material in the core of that star, forced to spin faster than the speed of light, goes back in time. It rips out of our instance of Planck time. And since no instance of time in the past can accept it without violating the law of conservation of mass energy, it goes back before the beginning of time and big bangs into its own universe. And so here I derive the equations for the conservation of angular momentum for a point at the edge of a giant star that collapses. The moment of inertia between the original star and the collapsing star has to stay equal. And what that looks like it's like an ice skater. When she jumps up in the air with her arms out, she's spinning. But then when she brings her arms in, she spins up really fast. So the collapsing star is doing a light speed axle. And that's given as mass times the tangential velocity times the radius. And the radius changes from something really, really big to something really, really small. And the mass condenses as a function of volume of a sphere. The equation for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So the mass density per unit volume of the condensed star is the mass density of the original star times the big radius cubed divided by the little radius cubed. And that is a fact. Plug everything in and you find out what the radius is. The example star I use to compute the radius is Vy Canis Majoris. Its mass is 17 solar masses. Its outer radius is 1500 times the solar radius. Plug all that in and the radius at which the core of Vy Majoris when it supernovas from the center of the star that achieves the speed of light will be 47 kilometers and change. The Schwarzschild radius, incorrect scientific consensus about the radius of a black hole under the misimpression that the black hole is a big ball of dirty mass. I looked it up on the internet and it's 50. So it's actually pretty close. So the hoop of material that tears out of our instance of time, it's going to be a donut. And the band of material is going to start at the Voorhees radius. Now the sonic gravity theory of everything is premised that our consciousness runs over the surface of a 2D hologram, but it's not bent into the surface of a sphere anymore. The 2D holographic surface of the black hole is bent into a donut. And that is a fact. And that makes perfect sense because no matter where you walk on the surface of a donut, it's infinite. You can't walk off the surface of a donut. In any direction you go, the universe goes on forever. And that too is a fact. And the interesting thing is, is when you think about looking into the surface of a black hole, the cosmic microwave background, if you're really looking into the surface of a donut, the end of the universe would actually be closer to you right in front of you where the tube, the inner tube of the donut is closest to you. And then the sides of the donut would kind of be like empty holes kind of going away from you. And so that means that the cosmic microwave background would have to be warmer in a spot right in front of you and cooler at the bottom where the bottom of the donut is and cooler around the sides where you're actually looking down the tube. And guess what? It is. And that too is a fact. Now in the Virgo constellation, M87 is a black hole that we found with the Event Horizon Telescope on April 10th, 2019. And the scientific consensus is, is that black spot in the middle is a big ball of dirty mass, but it's not. It's a bunch of empty space wreathed by a donut of space that ripped out of our time and is replaced with a ring of quantum gravity arising from tension in the Higgs string where the superluminal core of that star ripped out of our instance of Planck time went back in time, went back to before the beginning of time and big banged into another universe. And that's exactly what Einstein said we need. M empty space encircled by negative energy density. And negative energy density is the exact same thing as gravity, and that is a fact. And that holds open a wormhole, and that too is a fact. And I didn't make that up. If you don't believe it, you can take it up with Einstein. Because Einstein-Carton theory holds that a black hole is an Einstein-Rosen bridge, a portal to another universe, and that too is a fact. And guess what else? In March 2021, the Event Horizon Telescope took a look at a black hole in the Virgo constellation, M87. On April 10th, 2019, in the Virgo constellation, the Event Horizon Telescope Telescope took a peek at M87 which was a black hole. And that was pretty awesome. And I think the scientific consensus is, is that the black hole is a big ball of dirty mass and all that orange light is some kind of accretion disk, but it's not. It's a donut of space that ripped out of our time and is holding open a wormhole to the universe beyond. That is a fact. And in May, 2022, the Event Horizon Telescope took a peek at Sagittarius A star, which is a supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Now, if we're looking at Sagittarius A star, we're gonna be looking at it more from the side, right? So if it's a donut, it's gonna be like an oval. And that would have to be a fact. And guess what? It is. And that too is a fact. They need some kind of accretion disk, because if you were looking at an accretion disk from the side, it would have to look like Saturn's rings. That is a black donut. And that is a fact. And guess what else? In March 2021, the Event Horizon Telescope clarified part of the M87 photograph. And you can actually see the surface of the black hole, or the black donut, 
much clearer. And look at the curves. That ain't an accretion disc pointing in super sharply. There's no visual distortion. It's the energy writhing over the surface of the donut. And since the inner radius is smaller than the outer radius, you can see it's cramming in. And that's why those lines look like they're getting a little bit more crammed together as they run from the outside diameter of the donut to the inside diameter. And that too is a fact. So in September 2021, the sonic gravity theory of everything claimed that black hole genesis arose from quantum gravity when the core of that star rotates faster than the speed of light and goes back in time and big bangs. And the hole in the center of a black hole is space. And through that hole is another universe. And that too is a fact.